I've put together 20 specific ways that you can use AI right now to make your life a little easier, a little happier, and a lot more productive. For the tools, I'm sticking to just a few models, Gemini, and then Perplexity and Notebook LM for research. We're going to start off with some professional examples to help you level up at work, and then I'll get into some awesome personal use cases. So stick around for that. All right, let's get into it. First, let's talk about those dreaded professional headshot photos. If your LinkedIn profile photo needs an update, you don't necessarily need to book a photographer. You can use an image generator like Nano Banana Pro. Just upload a selfie and give it a prompt like this. Create a professional headshot photo of the person in this image. Make sure to keep the facial features exactly the same so that it looks like you. And after doing that, it generates this really professional studio quality headshot in a minute. Now just keep in mind that when you do use the Gemini platform to generate your images, it will have that Gemini watermark on the bottom right hand corner of the image. So you can always access Nano Banana Pro through a platform like Hicksfield AI, which has access to all the major image and video generators and any image you generate through there doesn't have the watermark. All right. So let's say you have a business meeting booked with somebody, but you're really short on time to prepare for the meeting. You can go to their LinkedIn profile, grab the URL to their page, paste it into Gemini and say, can you review this LinkedIn profile? Let me know what some great conversation starters are just like this. And here we could see that Gemini gave me a really nice summary and some great talking points that I can ask to help me start building rapport immediately. Now this next one on the list is a really powerful time saver. If you ever need to train someone on a specific task, you don't need to type a manual. Just record a voice note on your phone, narrating the task while you do it. Like, okay, I'm clicking here, I'm opening this file, and then I'm doing this, that kind of thing. Then you upload that audio file into Gemini, and then you ask it to write a step-by-step -step standard operating procedure. So you can see here that I've uploaded my voice note right here, and I say, can you analyze this voice memo and create an SOP document explaining exactly what I did step-by-step. -step. So for my voice recording, I actually recorded myself updating a Canva template. So I recorded myself saying, opening the Instagram quote template, going to uploads, dragging the new headshot, double clicking the text box, pasting the quote. And so you could see that Gemini has turned all that rambling into a perfect step-by-step -step document. Now I'm using a few different AI tools in this video to show you some really helpful ways of using AI in your everyday life. But there's so many other tools out there and sometimes it can feel pretty overwhelming. One of the most common questions that I get is, how do I know what AI tool is good for which task? If that's something you've been wondering about, then I suggest you check out this free resource from HubSpot called the AI Productivity Stack, 50 tools for two times output. This guide gives you a comprehensive breakdown of 50 AI tools. But what makes this different is that it doesn't just list the tools. It gives you the key features and real world workflows for them. It shows you step-by-step -step how to automate scheduling, streamline your research, optimize writing, and more so that you can get more done without adding hours to your day. My favorite section is the cautionary advice for using AI wisely. It tells you the common pitfalls to avoid, privacy concerns, and data security risks, which is critical when using AI for work. So download this guide using the link in the description and thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. I think one of the most underutilized but awesome features of Gemini is actually Gemini Live, which is their advanced voice mode, which you can use on their mobile app. Advanced voice mode is great for practicing difficult conversations. Now to access it, you're gonna click on the sound wave button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And before you ask for a raise or give tough feedback to somebody, practice with Gemini Live. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you how this works. I'm gonna press the sound wave button and then start the conversation. Play the role of a skeptical boss. I need to justify my 10% raise in salary. All right, hit me with your best eye. A 10% raise, you say? What exactly have you done to warrant such a significant increase? I'm gonna need some concrete evidence. Well, I believe a 10% raise is fair because I increased our department's uh, output by 15% this quarter for the third quarter in a row, outperforming the rest of the team. So I think I, I deserve a 10% raise. Impressive numbers, I admit. But how much of that directly translates to the company's bottom line? And could that increased output be due to factors beyond your individual performance? Good points, good points. And I'd also like to know about your contributions to the team's collaboration and overall company culture. It's not just about the numbers, right? I really like this technique because it makes sure that you're well prepared for tough conversations and asks you things that you may not have thought of on your own before the real meeting. Now, let's say you're preparing for a speech and you want some feedback on your overall presentation skills. You can record a video of yourself practicing the speech and actually upload it into Gemini. And you can ask it to analyze your pacing and body language. 
So you can see here, I've given Gemini a YouTube short of myself right here, just to show you that this works. And then I say, I'm looking for feedback on my presentation skills in this video, analyze the video, specifically paying attention to my pacing, body language, and how engaging it is, provide any suggestions for improvement. So you can see here, it's giving me feedback on the pacing. It says maybe that the pacing is a bit slow. It's giving me feedback on body language, engagement, and a summary of actionable steps I can take to make it better. So Gemini can actually analyze the video and give you real feedback on it. And this is something that it does better than any other AI model out there right now. It's basically like having your own private speaking coach. And if you need slides for that presentation that you're preparing for, then you're going to want to check out Gamma AI. Now, the great thing about Gamma is that you can either give it a one line prompt or, you know, a couple sentences on exactly what presentation you're looking for and it will generate it. Or you can actually give it your notes from the speech that you actually have prepared and it will create slides for you. So if we're doing a presentation on AI and the future of work, we can give it a prompt like this. Create a 10 slide deck on AI and the future of work for a corporate executive audience focusing on the shift from job replacement to human AI collaboration and upskilling. Use a professional optimistic tone and include a slide on the practical timeline for AI adoption in 2025. And based on that prompt, here's what it generated this really nice, beautiful looking presentation. You can see why this is my favorite AI presentation tool. And the really nice thing about this is that you can export it as a PowerPoint file as well, which is great. Now we've all been there when you have a bunch of long documents that you need to digest, but you don't have the time to read through everything. The tool I always reach for in those situations is Notebook LM. The instant podcast feature is a game changer for consuming information. And the beauty of Notebook LM is that it can accept so many different file formats from PDFs to website URLs to YouTube videos, notes, even stuff in your Google Drive now, which is awesome. So if you have a long PDF or a report that you need to read, just put it into Notebook LM, click on the audio overview button, and it's going to generate a podcast episode between two hosts talking about your subject. So you can listen to it on the go. And if you're more of a visual person, you can now even create infographics within Notebook LM based on your sources, which is really helpful for visualizing how things fit together. Or you can create a video overview, which are helpful slides along with a voiceover, which teaches you any subject. Now, if you have a job interview coming up that you need to prepare for, then you can create a job interview prep notebook in Notebook LM. You can add the job description as a source, then add the company URL as another source add any other articles or blogs that the company's written in the past year or so. And then you can use a chat function to ask, you know, what are the 15 most likely questions that they're likely to ask me in the interview with suggested responses for each one. And you can see here that it's come up with a list of 15 questions that it thinks are most likely to be asked in the interview, along with the suggested responses for each one. Imagine how much better you would do in an interview if you could prepare like this. You could also create notebooks about nutrition if you're following a specific diet like the keto diet or the Mediterranean diet, and you can find credible nutrition papers and upload them to Notebook LM. And now you have a chatbot to answer your specific questions based on credible sources rooted in science. And of course, you can create notebooks for any other hobbies or interests that you have as well. Anything that you want to learn in an accelerated period of time. All right, now we're getting into some of the home and lifestyle examples. First up, let's handle some of those tedious tasks around the house. This one came to me recently when I was trying to figure out how to change the time on our new stove when the clocks went back for daylight savings time. So after frustratingly pressing different buttons without any success, I just uploaded an image of a stove like this and I asked perplexity, how do I change the time on the stove? I can't figure it out. Give me the step-by-step -step instructions. It looked at the image, told me exactly which model of stove it was and helped me figure out how to change the time on it. You can also use the same approach if your dishwasher breaks or some other appliance starts making a weird noise. Before you call the repairman and spend money fixing something that maybe you could fix yourself, ask AI first. Another thing that AI can be really helpful for is something that I deal with a lot having six-year-old twins, and that is stains. Let's say you have a weird stain on your carpet and you have no idea how to get it out. Don't guess because you might make it worse. You can take a picture of it and show it to the AI and ask, what chemical or natural household item can I use to remove this stain? And it will provide you with a response so that you have an idea of what you could do to try and get the stain out. This same approach also works well for any house plants that keep turning yellow. This has happened to me many times. You can take a picture of the plant and ask, why is this plant dying? Can you tell me how to get it to thrive? And the AI will give you a helpful response, suggestions on how much sunlight and water it should get, how to bring it back to thriving, etc. 
And while we're on the topic of plants, another thing that you could do is if you live in a specific climate and you're looking to plant some fruits or vegetables, you can ask it what type of fruit would be best suited for that climate or which ones are the most disease resistant. Whatever the preference is for that fruit, you can ask. My dad, who's a huge gardener, uses perplexity for this all the time, and it's been a huge help in the overall health of his garden, and it looks amazing. Now let's talk about one of the things in my life that causes the biggest decision fatigue, what to cook. Sometimes I look at my pantry and I have no idea what I can cook with the ingredients that I have in there. But now if I really can't figure it out, I take the ingredients out of the pantry, put them on the counter and snap a picture of it, just like this. Now, typically I use perplexity for this as well. And I'll just simply ask, give me three delicious recipes that I can make with these ingredients. And here perplexity has given me three recipes, classic creamy chicken marsala, creamy garlic mushroom chicken skillet, creamy chicken and mushroom soup. And I've gotten some really good recipes like this for shrimp dishes, banana pancakes, chia seed pudding, and more. Another thing you can do is if you're missing a particular ingredient, then you can ask for what ingredient that you can use instead, and AI is really helpful for that. And speaking of food, let's simplify grocery shopping. If you have five different recipes that you want to cook for this week, you usually have a mess of ingredients to sort through. So what you can do is you could take screenshots of the recipes or copy the links to the websites with the recipes that you're going to make, paste them into perplexity and just say, create a master grocery list, remove duplicate items and organize by the typical layout of a grocery store produce first. This way you're less likely to forget things on your list and it makes shopping a breeze. And while we're on the topic of shopping, before you buy any expensive technology like a new phone, a laptop or a TV, check with perplexity first. You can ask something like this. I'm looking to buy a new smartwatch. I'm trying to choose between the Apple Watch Series 11, the Google Pixel, the Samsung Galaxy Watch. Help me do a side-by-side -side comparison so that I can decide which one I should purchase. And here you see it gives us a breakdown of the things we should really consider when we're deciding which one to buy and a nice table that actually breaks down each of the three different options. Really great. So it basically acts like a personal shopping assistant to help you make better purchasing decisions. All right, let's talk about traveling. If you're planning a drive and you need a specific stop, like for example, a quiet coffee shop with easy parking, Gemini is great for this. Because it connects to Google Maps, you can ask it to find a highly rated spot that's actually on your route so you aren't detouring 20 minutes out of your way. Now, the next time you have a big upcoming trip planned, don't just ask for generic things to do. Ask the AI for an itinerary. Here's an example of a prompt that you could use. Act as an expert travel planner specializing in romantic European getaways. Please create a detailed day-by-day, seven-day itinerary for couples visiting Portugal. My constraints, and you can give it your constraints. Seven days, I want a more relaxed pace, what my budget is, what the focus of the trip is, all the different constraints. You can ask it to group activities by neighborhood each day to minimize the travel time and avoid unnecessary crisscrossing of the city. And you can ask it to organize this into a clear, easy to read schedule. And you can see that it gives us this really nice detailed itinerary within our budget. This makes travel planning so much easier. And now you have an efficient schedule that actually makes logistical sense. Now, once you have your itinerary finalized, you can then ask it for a packing list. Be sure to specify the time of year that you're planning to go so that it gets a better understanding of the clothing that you'll need to pack. So within this conversation, you could see, I said, you know, this is great. I plan to visit Portugal in April. Can you prepare a packing list for me? I like to be well prepared for my trips. And here you can see it's given me a really helpful list of things that I should be packing, helpful suggestions on what I should bring. And it's given me an itemized checklist that I can use to make sure that I don't forget anything. Now, before you take a trip to your destination of choice, let's say you need to brush up on your language skills. You could definitely listen to or watch language videos for whichever language you're trying to learn, but you still need to actually practice speaking it if you want the best results. This is one of my favorite ways of using Gemini Live, the voice feature that I showed you earlier, to have a language partner to actually practice with. Now I speak French, so I'm gonna tell it to act as a waiter in France and that I wanna practice ordering dinner. And then I'm gonna order some chicken and a glass of red wine. All right, here we go. Act as a waiter in France. I wanna practice ordering dinner. Bonjour. Welcome to La Cuisine Enchantée. What can I get started for you tonight? Uh, je prendrai le confit de poulet et un verre de vin rouge. Très bien. Le confit de poulet est un excellent choix. Et quel type de vin rouge voudriez-vous? Nous avons du Merlot, du Cabernet et du Pinot Noir. Qu'est-ce qui vous ferait plaisir? And there you go. I love this feature because it's a judgment-free way to get comfortable speaking out loud. 
And finally, I wanted to show you an example of how to build your own little tool to solve everyday problems that you have. Let's say you really like high intensity interval training style workouts and you're looking for some quick ideas for gym workouts so you don't have to think about it. Instead of having to pay for a workout app subscription, you can create your own tool that generates high intensity interval training circuits for you so you're never lost for ideas. So I explained to Gemini what I wanted the workout app to do, gave it a reference image of another workout app that I liked and asked for a prompt that I could use to build this app. So it gave me this prompt right here and with canvas mode turned on, I had it generate the app and this is what it gave me. A fully functional app that gives me a whole bunch of different HIIT workouts I can choose from. Check this out, it even has a timer for each exercise. And once it's done, it gives you a break and then moves on to the next workout or the next exercise. And the beauty of this is that we can actually share this app with others by clicking on the share button at the top right hand corner and then copying the link. And then we can use this app on a mobile device as well. So you can have this with you the next time you go to the gym. Super cool. And you can use this same approach to build so many other tools and dashboards like an investment property analyzer or a subscription manager to manage all of your monthly subscriptions or a daily tracker. The use cases are endless. So there you go. 20 ways to upgrade your daily life. My goal for you is to pick at least one of these examples, even if it's just the home stuff and try it this week. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you want to learn more, I have a private community on school where we upload weekly videos, we do live workshops, and you get access to a community of like-minded people who are learning how to leverage AI and automation in their business work and life. And if you want to learn more about how to use AI to level up your work and your life, then click this next video.